Hello everyone, welcome back to this game that we're playing. Is that where we were? This is where we were. Ah, there we go. Uh, I've recorded this episode already. Help. But. Um, <laughs> okay. So I learned something about computers. Even though it is still... It is now 2017, it's still apparently impossible to both <laughs> record a game with OBS and stream it with Twitch at the same time. Uh, I used two copies of OBS to try and achieve this, but it did not work. The Twitch one worked, but then I discovered that the uh, other OBS for um, the actual episode hadn't worked. And the reason I was streaming on Twitch was because Jen was in a different town and wanted to watch and blah blah blah. Anyway. This! I've basically forgotten how far we got. Can't remember what we talked about, apart from the fact that I talked about how I quite like Doom 3 and other people were indifferent or worse about it. Um, I still think that is a valid opinion to have. And I, I was talking previously, which was a long time ago by the way, and I do apologise for that. Um, but I was talking previously about how Doom 3 I preferred for the ouch the fact that it would give you some indication of what was happening you know, a, a thing I appreciated about Doom 3 is that because of the uh, improved technology it meant that we could properly represent the things that we're trying to do for example this is called command center uh, so far I have found that I'm in a just a doorway at the top there with a the random room which I spawned in for some reason. Uh, and then... Shit, shit, shit! <laughs> and then there's just these random corridors and things and somehow we're... I don't know what we're commanding in this command center by the way. Oh, what I did learn in the previous one, uh, previous attempt at this, is that basically we're going to run out of uh, ammo unless we do this, which is great fun and we should do it all the time. It did hit me for 20 HP, but I'm okay with it because this is amazing fun. We can also pick up this berserk thingy and go around and punch the shit out of absolutely everything in the entire fucking game. Come here. There we go. Now, I would kind of prefer it if this uh, made it a little bit easier to not take damage. When you're berserk, I mean, you get a very brief period of being able to one punch everything. It makes you one punch man, by the way, which. I think it's pretty cool, because One Punch Man was not a thing back in 1990-something when this game came out. Uh, but the nice thing about the chainsaw here is that the Kaka Demons flinch very easily, which makes them excellent candidates Whoa, careful, for being um, chainsawed the shit out of. Of course, in the original game, you weren't supposed to have this level of control. You know, I just uh, circle strafe that mofo like a boss. I don't mean to uh, use my pistol there. I hope that's reasonably obvious. Do we have a rocket launcher? No. Now I'll use it. Bang, 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 bang. Bang. I don't know if the bullet from the pistol does the same amount of damage as a bullet from a chain gun. Let's uh... Oh, fudge. <laughs> Do you want to try and chainsaw these f mofos? Is that a good idea? I suspect no. We now have plenty of ammo for our shotgun, so I don't feel too bad about just using that for this. I mean, I'm not, basically I'm not sure how this is a command center. What I am coming to understand, which I didn't understand when I first played this game as a kid, is that some of these things that don't fit are not supposed to fit. These skull doors, that scared me, <laughs> walked through a cacodemon corpse. These skull doors are supposed to look out of place because they've been put here by the... Wow, apparently according to his face, that hurt like shit. Um, they've been put here by the legions of hell that have taken over, basically. It's some sort of encroachment of hellish decorum on what was obviously a very nice... I'm so used to pressing 1 because that's where my sword is in Minecraft. Uh, what was obviously a very nice, not so hellish, human decorum. Decorum? Decor. You know what I'm saying. You can be numbed. See, they didn't... It didn't hurt. It was right next to me, but it failed to actually numb me. Which I find interesting. A bit more armor is fine. Don't need the HP. So, 
how does this represent a command center, you might be asking. I also am asking this question. Of course we had a limitation to this engine. Uh, so... Is that supposed... To, that's obviously supposed to have been exploded and broken, but what is this? Some sort of exposed circuitry that is supposed to be exposed? I'm sorry? In what culture? Anyway. I do happen to know that there is a secret room... No, a secret exit in this level, so... I'm gonna go for... That. I don't think it's supposed to take me this long to beat this particular level, but it is doing, so there you go. Pretty sure there's a cacodemon. Oh, nothing obvious. Okie dokie. Yay! I apologise for the chainsawing. I'm hoping that when you're actually watching this in post, having having been posted, um, I will have turned it down sufficiently that you can actually hear what I'm saying. But we shouldn't be here too long, and these things can't hurt me, unless I accidentally turn away, which very nearly happened. What does this button do? Maybe some stairs happen somewhere. That's those stairs, right? That's the secret exit, so we're going to explore the rest of this floor first. I think that's worthwhile. Whoa! Chainsaw? Gun. Chain gun, chainsaw, what the hell's the difference, guy? At some point in the future, I actually think I might play uh, Quake 2. I will probably skip Quake, because I didn't really like it. Um, but I think that Quake 2 had a sort of a... Uh, an improvement on Quake in the same way that Doom 3 had an improvement on Doom, except to a lesser degree because of course they're closer together. The increase, the improvements in technology were not quite so pronounced. That's going to open on its own, is it? I guess so. Um, and, but, yeah, there we go. But the, uh, the difference between the two games was nevertheless quite strong, which I found interesting. Quake itself was basically like Doom 3, but then they called Doom 3 Doom 3, so it wasn't. You know what, I'm going to use a shotgun. You know, you can shoot each other, I don't give a shit. I'll sit here and watch. No? Zombified troopers are not very smart. I mean, not to be rude. But maybe they didn't really have the greatest head start in that uh, particular race in the first place. Uh, these are American military that we're talking about here. American military who elected to go to Mars, no less. So I think it would be nice if I could deal with these things somehow without having to go over there. Where the heck are you? Did I not just get a rocket launch? No, that was a chain, chain gun. Thing is, the. Uh, the spread on this is fairly fixed. So I'm trying to kill this thing without actually using up too much of my ammo. Maybe I should stick to the shotgun, because the shotgun spread, well, wide, is not necessarily quite as wide as that. I mean, most of those shell parts were hitting that. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Okie dokie, we've got a few more clips. Fill up our ammo. Going around this level with the chainsaw is very satisfying. So here's an, like, I'm guessing this would normally be the part of the command center, but it's overgrown in some hell-based ivy. The holly and the ivy. We've got 14% armor, which is kind of good for me because um, there is an armor thing to pick up. So we can do this twice. Come back. Because we have two radiation suits, but they're both on this side of it, so we can't do it twice, uh, and we can't come back using this radiation suit. However, I do believe that there is a solid reason to keep coming over here with the radiation suit active, if nothing else, because you know we have to cross that radiation at some point. Notice the radiation suit, much like. Um, Looks like Gordon Freeman's ATV suit. It doesn't actually have a helmet. Making me wonder whether it's actually all that effective. There's another one of those things. Obviously there was um, some sort of circuitry in the walls originally. But now it's just been taken over with this horrible bones and souls and stuff. I guess this is supposed to be flesh. 
But that flesh has been pulled back in such a way. Like, this is the flesh. And this is the muscle underneath. So why? I guess the uh, there's an allusion, <coughs> allusion to the idea that the end of this game, the boss... Ah! Christ, it made me jump. The end of the game boss in this Doom is the Cyber Demon, i.e. the one with the, the big goat robot. You know what I'm saying. Brilliant. Brilliant. Die. So much fun just changed around the shit out of these mofos. Lights went out. Over the Red Hill Town. If I go down here, and I can funnel them through this doorway and pick them off one at a time without having to deal with the fact that they can nom me from the sides. Now I just have to worry about being hit from behind, but I don't think that's going to happen somehow. This is such scummy tactics, but obviously... <laughs> we would have done this in the original game, right? It's an amazingly fun way of dealing with it. Oh, hello. There's one more. It's so satisfying, even though, really, it's cheesy as all hell. Okay, that was safe. Is this safe? Don't care. Monster closets again. Thanks, Rorax, for that particular turn. So here's the exit. So this is not where we're going. Right, so we don't want to do that, but we have explored it. Now we want to go back, take the damage for running over the thing, that's fine. <coughs> so many of these little doors, that's what I like about this particular level. I mean, this is one of my favourite levels, and I do remember it quite well. Um, but it's quite intricate. It doesn't really have the... You, it's almost like the game doesn't have the scope to be this intricate, and yet, here we are. Right, so there's that. So now we can go and get the other radiation suit. Pick up some plasma bits on the way, which is nice. And over here, there's another bit where we take damage and we can't really help it. We want to be inside there, basically. But then we want to come back out here, so I've actually done this wrong. Oh, no, apparently I can just straight up do that. Where are you? No? Not there? There you are. Okay. Um, we want to be down here, but I don't think I've raised the bridge yet. I do like these uh, barons of hell, which basically forced me to waste my ammo to get past them. I could ignore it, but then I'll probably forget about it and it'll shoot me when I come back up this corridor here. Don't really mind taking the HP. I mean, it's not like we don't get a deal with the devil if we take red heart damage, right? We're, we're, getting, our, uh, we're getting our rewards irrespective of how badly we do it. There's a couple of... Um, there's a couple of... Oh, I guess I want to finish these up. Teleporters that we need to jump on. Not that one, but approximately that one. Yeah, we've not raised that yet. Why don't you take radiation damage? Good question. Thanks for asking. Ow. Bit mean. There's our plasma gun. This will be where the uh, Cacodemon ended up. Lol. Moan. I just took a shotgun blast to the face, so I don't know what you're saying. So the Cacodemon is wherever that takes us. <laughs> There's a teleporter down there, basically, and it's the Cacodemon that got teleported. So I guess we go this way. We'll take less damage in the thingy, but I'm a bit worried about the fact that Cacodemon is down there now. We'll grab this. Grab this. That's a secret area. Again, I'm not worried about the damage that we're taking, apart from the fact... Where is it? Apart from the fact that, um, there you are. Uh, we obviously have to make it back before we actually die. So that's basically all of it right there, so that's good. Um, okay, so we are going to go up here through this door. There's the other armor that I was telling you about. I don't think it'll fill us up the armor that we've got. No, we've already got too much armor going on. We might not be able to pick it up, which would be a shame, because I think it counts as a. Uh, uh, it's part of the completion. Oh, I tried to zoom out <laughs> with the mouse wheel, which does actually work in this game, apparently. Sorry, what? Right, 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 right. So that is over here. Yep. But it's a teleporter. And the other one's over here. Is there stuff out there that we didn't visit? Maybe. 
Mayhap. Mayhap, old bean. Now, nah, no teleports here. So we're going to go down here. I think that's the way into the place where the button was, which I should have done earlier. Yikes! <laughs> There's a lot of things. I mean, if I were the devil trying to overtake the world, I would probably just fill it up with, you know, hordes of demons and imps and things that could achieve a similar goal. There's a chainsaw. Um, and then the only thing left to do is over there, which involves going back this way. Through here, up the other side of this. Right? No, that was right. Oh, come on. It's a very difficult level to navigate considering it's entirely two-dimensional. Down here. Pick up that HP while we're here. And then we can go in here. And this is the place where there's several of these rooms. You, see. you have to basically visit them all. So I meant to go here first and neglected to. That's my fault. Uh, what? Press the button, please. Pesky doors that are pretending not to be doors. I'm a bit framey right now. I hope it's just my computer pretending. Things flinch so easily with the chainsaw that it's almost silly not to use it. Don't like the fact that chat has to shout at you every time you do something, though. And then we go all the way back to that uh, circular staircase, which is in here. Go all the way up it. We don't need that. We can't take the other armor. We go down here. Although we might be able to by the time we've taken all the damage from doing this. Potentially. It's hurting. Ow, ow, ow. That's annoying. Turn the sound off. There we go. We can open this. Pick up this. Ta-da! Didn't change weapon. Interesting. Um, is there any health on the outside? There's more armor. Might as well get it. And then what I'm going to do is jump in this teleporter because it's easier to get here. And then we'll go... So we've got 132% armor. Interesting. Okay, we'll get some HP. That was a secret. Okay. Glad I went into it. And then we are going to go to the secret exit, which is up here. Then through here, again, millionth time. Then into here. Then we go up these stairs, which appeared. Are you ready to beat the shit out of some... Motherfuckers? Please don't kill me. This would be very sad for me. I'm gonna die! Shit. <laughs> Whoa, I've not seen him look like that for a while. <laughs> that was fun, he asks, uncertainly. Not in there. Somewhere there's HP. I promise you this. I haven't picked it all up. That would be silly. Don't stand on that, by the way. That area of light uh, does damage. There's some HP. We're at 13%. I remember this face that he pulled. Wow, look at him. With his uh, dripping blood from his face. It's very nostalgic. <laughs> right, good. There's some HP. So we're not doing terribly badly. Somebody just teleported into this entrance. Into here? No. Nope. Must have teleported through the uh, secret exit that I was telling you about. Because I think that's quite close to us. Yeah, there's more, more XP. So there's plenty for us to pick up, and now we can go and get the armor, actually, so let's do that. Is there HP in here? Nah. Right, let's go back. Finish off those bastards who tried to rip me apart. Kind of did better at that particular room last time. Part of the trick is to, um, you know... Interesting. Part of the trick is to step back on the teleporter and give yourself some space. But it's often easier said than done. Uh, and then we could also use... Oh, I... Okay, and then there's more, I think. We want to be careful. Oh, here we go. Alright, secret is revealed. Well, this is the end of this level. Thank you for watching. I'm going to jump in this, between this episode and the next, so that I can do this without having to... Ah, oh, no, let's see how well we do. Because also, there is not just that. Very well. Glad I did that. This is the true exit. Another secret. Uh, how did we do?
100% perfect. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, leave a like, which helps me, and if you want to see more, subscribe. That will help you. This is the, uh, the start of the room. The, this is the start of the level you saw on the autosave, because I've done that before. But until then, I hope that you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you'll be joining me for the next one to see how badly that enemy and that enemy kills me. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.